because it could have been one of my kids. That's it. A security officer opening up about some of her worst fears after finding two guns inside Grand Rapids Public Schools in recent months. The first with a student at Burton Middle School in October, then at that same school this past January. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in either of those cases. Oxford needs Matt Wickos live in the newsroom tonight after speaking with her about preventing something more serious from happening. Matt. Milagros Hernandez says in her six years at GRPS, this was the first time she ever saw a gun inside a school and says while building relationships with 1,200 students is a key factor to prevention, at the end of the day, she knows she's there to protect them. As a mom perspective, as a parent perspective, was I scared? Yeah. Was I terrified? Of course. But at that moment, I, I wasn't. I had to just put, make sure everybody was safe. So at the end of the day, when I did go home, yeah, I was terrified, but I knew I made a difference. Hernandez's actions received recognition during the annual GRPS Public Safety Awards Tuesday. And while the district is celebrating achievements, student safety is still top of their minds. Those instances at Burton Middle, just two of the four cases this school year where students brought guns in. In May, you'll remember, a seven-year-old brought an unloaded handgun to Cesar Chavez Elementary School. We're told that student didn't have any ammunition and didn't issue any threats. Then just one week later, a nine-year-old brought a loaded gun to Stocking Elementary. Court documents obtained by Fox 17 this week shows that child had wanted to shoot another classmate. Meanwhile, his father, who was taken into custody following a standoff last week, is now facing charges in connections to that case. And while Larry Johnson with GRPS says he wouldn't comment on that case because it's still an open investigation, he does say counseling is available to any and all students. Near the end of the school year, the district did ban backpacks. At this time, it's unknown if that's going to continue for the 23-24 school year. We understand how important uh, the backpacks are to some of our scholars. Uh, we want to take that into place, but uh, we also want to keep safety in mind. So we're going to make a, a great great decision, a good decision uh, that will be impactful and reflective of what our community wants, what our school community wants. GRPS plans to host another forum this summer on how to address safety. They say there's going to be a plan in place before the school year begins so parents can prepare their children for a successful year. In the newsroom, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.